All right, I want to say good evening to everyone. My name is Kimberly James. I am the council person here in the city of Forest Park in Ward 1. And this is my monthly ward meeting where I bring what I call subject matter experts, the people that actually run our city and um, have some great things for us. So we're going to go ahead and get started. They'll give you information um, on their prospective departments. And we'll go from there. So we'll call up Mrs. Jinx, Director of Public Works. Come on up, sir. Thank you very much for having me. I, like I said, I'm Bobby Jinx, Director of Public Works. Uh, we have six divisions under Public Works, but the most all divisions are working on grass this time of year, as you can imagine how much grass we have growing. So everybody's working on grass. I got one division working on potholes. So uh, if potholes are out there, we're getting to them. It's just a slow go, especially when we're hitting 105 degree index. Don't want nobody to have heat stroke or anything. And then also sanitation division is uh, working closely with code enforcement and uh, we're getting some good feedback and getting sanitation in line. So that is one thing that's uh, moving forward in a good direction. And then uh, the last thing I have, and I'll just talk a little bit and HR can finish it up. July 31st, mark your calendars from nine to two, I think is the correct date. It's on the website. Uh, we're having a job fair for Public Works to fill. At this time, we have roughly 13 openings, and we would love to possibly make some offers on the spot. So feel free to uh, come up to 803 Forest Parkway at the gym on July 31st. Public Works is having a job fair. And that's all I have from Public Works. Thank you so much. We're going to continue on and we'll take questions at the end. Uh, we'll continue on with our planning and this community development department. I got to get the right name. Mr. Ken Fleming, he's our supervisor there. Come on up, Mr. Ken. Thank you, Councilwoman James. Good evening, all. To our Distinguished guests and citizens, my name is Ken Fleming, Code Enforcement Supervisor with the City of Forest Park in the Planning and Community Development Department. And I just have a, a brief summary for the month of uh, June for Ward 1 that uh, we have four Code Enforcement officers, but only two are in that area of Ward 1. That'd be Officer Martina Miller and Wait, I'm just letting speak in. Officer uh, Hudo. We have a very diverse department, which I'm very proud of, because the city is a very diverse city. But we have uh, we didn't have that many violations in the month of June, but they are picking back up now that grass season is in full, full bloom, as Mr. Jinks uh, acknowledged there. Just uh, we had a total of uh, 13 code violations in the month of June for Ward 1. Now, we got five different wards, so this is just a small amount of the entire city. And they were basically uh, from building code violations, litter and debris, overgrown properties, which was the most of the violations, inoperable vehicles, parking on the grass in the front yard, and uh, outdoor storage objects. And once objects is furniture and appliances, not manufactured for outdoor use, it's just placed outside. So those are the violations. We had nine of those cases resolved and four have moved to the month of July with going through the due process of notifying these property owners. And sometimes we've got property owners in different countries. So we have to mail our letters to make sure they get them. That's the due process we must have yeah, afford the property owners. But uh, let's see here, we also, which is a good thing, PD assisted our department in reference to, we had numerous businesses in Forest Park that hadn't renewed their license. 
they forgot, didn't get the notification. But there were 23 cases that we did issue citations to bring to court for businesses with uh, no current business license. And PD was a great help assisting us in this uh, endeavor to get these properties in compliance. And understand there's a, I don't know if anybody knows where Scott Road is off Jonesboro Road. There's a, a set of dead end where they're developing it or there's plans to develop it for a, a some townhomes, and I think that's been tabled at the present. And uh, they had 18 new businesses approved, business license approved for the month of June. And that's been since May of this year. And uh, some of those were reissued licenses from businesses that let it elapse and expire. And, uh, but I'll be honest with you, Wish everybody had a lawnmower and would maintain their properties. And uh, we try to work with the citizens about that. And it's uh, one of our, the most cases we have during the month, the summer months. And, uh, but, you know, we have a lot of um, tenants, renters live here. And so we, we try to work with everybody about that. We just want to make our city look beautiful, safe, and a clean place to raise a family and enjoy life here at. But is there any questions for, for myself? Okay, thank you so much. That's about all I have right now, though. Thank you. Thank you, appreciate that. Um, okay, we'll move to our economic development department. Ms. Clay is in the building. Come on up, Ms. Clay. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. My name is Sharice Clay. I'm a staff assistant within the Economic Development Department. And I'll be giving you a few updates about the meetings that we have going on. So on July 26th, there will be a Development Authority meeting. And the Development Authority covers the economic development for the whole city. And there will be an Urban Redevelopment Authority meeting on August 10th which Ms. James, that is her board, and they have a lot of jurisdiction over Gillen, Gillum, which is for the Old Fort Gillum and surrounding areas. And the Downtown Development Authority will be meeting on July 27th, and they control most of the development on Main Street. And that is the board in which the mayor, I mean, yes, the mayor is over. Also, we are in the process of hiring an economic development project manager that's the only vacancy we have in our department because we are a small department of three. And also we have Mr. Bruce Abraham, which is our director. He's been going to different businesses around the city and conducting business visits, which is he's getting to know the business owners, figuring out what they do and which way we can catalog them so that we can make their business more successful. And some of the business that he's participating, I mean, he's gone to visit is the Western Hotel on Old Dixie, Cinelead, which they rent movie equipment, which that's great for us because, you know, Blue Star Studio is right down there. So it's good that we actually have somewhere where they can actually go within the city to get the equipment that they need. And we also took a trip to Ray's Barbecue, which is right down Jonesboro Road, and it is very delicious. So I hope if you get a chance that you stop by any of these businesses, and we will continue to visit more and give more business highlights. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, we're going to go to our recreation and leisure department. I know I have Miss Diane here from our HR department. But recreation and leisure, come on up, and then uh, we'll go to Chief Clement. She's online with us. Thank you, Madam. How's everybody doing today? All right, just let you know uh, a few things we have coming up in the recreation and leisure service department. Uh, one, we're gearing up for our soccer season. We have soccer registration going on right now. So if anybody interested in it, please come by the Recreation Center and uh, register for our soccer program. Uh, we're ending our summer camp program. So the kids will uh, be going back to school shortly. And with that being said, we have a book bag uh, and school supply giveaway on Saturday, July the 22nd, right here in Star Park. So, and that goes from one to what, five? one to five, so make sure you come out and uh, get some back-to-school supplies. 
Uh, also, uh, next week, we have our end of the summer game day where the kids can come out, play the, the bounce houses, game trucks, free ice cream, and free food. That's next Thursday from 5 to 9. So once again, those are the things we have coming up for the month of July and to get ready for back to school. While we're here at the Senior Center, I do want to let you know some great things we have coming to the, uh, to the Senior Center at this moment. So, <laughs> so um, we are going to do some um, minor renovations here at the Senior Center. So we're looking to get some of those things started. So you'll see some contractors coming through, just looking at some um, ideas and going over some things. So we will be doing some uh, major renovations here at the Senior Center. I don't want to give it away because I want it to be a surprise. So when the senior, when you do see the Senior Center closed for a little while, just know that when it does reopen, it will be more state-of-the-art and more up-to-date and uh, a beautiful facility for our seniors, okay? At this moment, I thank you for allowing me to speak and I'll turn it back over to Councilwoman Jane. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you. Uh, we have Chief Clements from our fire department. Come on up, Chief, to give us an update. All right, good evening, everybody. I'm Natasha Clements, fire chief. Uh, just a couple of updates from the fire department. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we have officially moved into our new public safety complex. Uh, today, we celebrated that, um, you know, welcoming uh, the firefighters into their new home. They are extremely excited about being in the facility. Uh, upcoming, uh, our new two pumpers are coming uh, probably in the next couple of weeks. So we're excited about that. Uh, a lot of great things are happening in the fire department. As you heard at the council meeting the other night, uh, we have some new incentives to um, aid in our staffing. Uh, we're looking forward to that. Uh, I want to let the public know that upcoming in October, we're going to we're looking to do a all girls fire camp. I think the ages is going to be from 14 to 18, something along those lines. So. Uh, we'll be getting some flyers out in all girls summer camp. This is an opportunity for the public to ask the fire chief any questions. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Chief. And uh, we have another chief in the building, Chief from our police department. Come on up, Chief Chris from our police department. And then we're gonna go to human resources. I always like to leave human resources for last year and remember the job. Yeah. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. Um, so since the last meeting, I got some good news to report. Uh, we have lowered crime by seven and a half percent. On top of that, uh, we recently revealed our new patch and logo. Uh, you can log on to our Facebook account and see it. Uh, we do have our Citizens Police Academy uh, coming up on July the 25th. We still have some available slots left, so sign up. Um, on August the 1st, 2023, uh, National Night Out will be at the uh, Old Town Morrow Road. Uh, we have partnered with Clayton County Police Department and the Morrow Police Department for National Night Out. Uh, it is a reminder that the automated speed cameras in the school zones will be reactivated soon. So please slow down in the school zones if you do not want a citation in the mail. And last but not least, uh, entering autos uh, is still something that, are, that is plaguing um, many communities across Georgia and throughout the uh, U.S. So with that being said, any valuables, please keep them out of view from the public um, and lock your doors. Uh, but any type of electronic, computer, cell phone, especially weapons, uh, make sure you keep your weapons secured and anything that is visible, uh, keep that uh, from being seen from the outside of the vehicle. Uh, that is all I have to report today. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we have our human resources department, our deputy director, Ms. Lewis. Thank you very much, and good evening, everyone. And just to piggyback off of what Mr. Jenks said, we are having a public works job fair. And it's going to be July 31st, and I'm going to repeat it again. It's going to be at the Recreation and Leisure Center, and that is 803 Forest Parkway. So if you know anyone that's interested in working for the City of Forest Park Public Works Department, 
tell them to please come out. And we also have the information on our website. And the hours are going to be from nine to three. Okay, we have some wonderful jobs um, that we're looking to fill. The first one is a level two support engineer. We're looking for a director of finance. We're looking for a maintenance worker senior. That's in the public works department. We're also looking for a part-time maintenance worker and just a, a regular full-time maintenance worker. We're looking for a, a multimedia specialist. This is a very exciting position. Um, a senior management analyst, a city clerk for the city of Forest Park. We're also looking for the director of code compliance. That's another position that we're advertising for. That's a new position. Um, the public works department is looking for a fleet foreman. The fire department is hiring for firefighter paramedics. The police department is um, still advertising for police officers. We're looking for a management analyst grants. Uh, we have that position in the police department. The fire department is looking for firefighter EMTs. We're looking to fill the communications operator position. That's a 911 operator. That's a very exciting position and that's in the police department. And, and we're also looking for a heavy equipment operator in um, the public works department and you must have a valid CDL driver's license. And if you know anybody or um, that's interested in any of these positions, it's very easy to apply. You just go on to the City of Forest Park's website and it is www.forestparkga.gov and you click on departments, human resources and job opportunities. And you, you'll have a listing of everything that we're applying for. I mean, that we're advertising for. And you just click the apply now and create an account. Thank you very much and have a wonderful night. Thank you, Ms. Lewis. All right. I want to acknowledge our mayor in the room. I'm going to let her have the last word. So um, we have our city manager in the building. Come on up, Mr. Clark. I know you got something to say. Mr. Clark loves to talk. Just kidding. Come on, Mr. Clark. This is our city manager for your for your those that don't know. I love this man. <laughs> so I'll keep it brief. The departments have done an amazing job of updating all of you relative to the happenings within the city of Forest Park. One of the things that I'll touch on is communication, communication, communication. And over the next the course of the next 30 to 60 days, we're going to be working to ensure that we have as much contact information for our residents as we can possibly get. Through our fire department, they have a red alert system, I believe it's called, code red system that will notify you when we have inclement weather and things of that nature. And also we're excited that we'll be rolling out um, the City of Forest Park's new app next month. Um, so in order for you to get the app, we'll need your contact information. And we will be announcing a competition or a contest rather um, for our seniors to get a free table or a free ticket to our celebration for this 100th day of uh, my administration here as city manager. It's been a long, um, long 100 days. Today they had me out in the sunshine and I was really hot and I almost melted and I came inside the facility tonight and fell in a chair. So seniors, I can assure you that we will have new chairs in this building immediately, especially since I hit the floor of my good suit. So I'm gonna make certain that Tariq goes tomorrow to find those chairs because I'm getting to the age where I need something to hold on to to properly sit down. But nonetheless, again, I just thank you to the seniors that are here. You know, every time I see you, I try to hug you, love on you, you know, and I want that to continue to be our relationship. So again, thank you guys for all that you do. And it's indeed my honor to serve as your city manager. Thank you, sir. Before we go to our mayor, um, we have our school board member in the house, Ms. Victoria Williams. Ms. Williams, you got any updates? Come on up to the to the microphone. You don't want to come to the mic and the camera? Okay. She, okay. Come on. Come on up, Ms. Williams. She is. <laughs> That's my friend, y'all. I don't play with them. Uh, schools start back August 2nd. 
We have a back to school drive July 29th. Yeah. No, July 29th, the, yeah. the county having a back to school drive at Drew High School from 10 to 3, I think. And I'm having a back to school, a back in school drive August 19th from 11 to 4 off Jonesboro Road. And that's it. And Fort Worth Middle School is about to be built. Yeah. And if you, if you don't know what it look like and want to see, come see me in the back and I can show you on my iPad. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> come on up, Madam Mayor. This is our mayor of the great city of Forest Park, Miss Angeline Butler. Hi, Mayor. Well, good evening, everyone. I don't think you guys heard me. I said good evening. Good evening. Yes, I am not going to take too much of your time. I want to thank all the directors for the information that you shared. And the only thing that I'll add, if Councilwoman James have not mentioned it already, is that the redistricting has been approved. And so there's going to be new maps for all five wards. But the focus, because time is truly of the essence, will be on wards three, four, and five. So those that are in those respective wards will receive several rounds of postcards, letting them know of the changes. And if someone wishes to run for office, qualifying will be um, the third or fourth week of August. Just look out for that information coming out. But just know we're going to do our part to make sure that everyone who has in, who is impacted by the redistricting is very well aware. And so they will not be disenfranchised for the upcoming election. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Mayor. All right, well, we're at the time where we will take questions. And because we're recording this live, oops, because we're recording this live, I'm going to end the recording and then I'll ask any questions that you all have. So, once again, thank you all for joining me every third Thursday of the month. We're live in person or we're online. Check out the information. Let us know if there's anything we can do for you. You all have a great evening.